everybody. It's Jamie from Play to Learn Preschool. Thank you for joining me today. I am here with an idea for you to use during circle time with your preschoolers. This month um, of May, we have been teaching our students all about insects. We started with observing crickets, and I did a video to show you all of the different places where I source live insects to put into my classroom so that they can see insects and mealworms and crickets and caterpillars and ladybugs and ants. Um, and so if you haven't seen those videos, you can scroll back through the video um, page on my Facebook site or, you know, the video tab on my Facebook page and see some of the other videos. Today though, I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite circle time lessons to do during this unit. I think sometimes when we're planning activities for young students, for three and four year olds, it's easy to sort of plan the theme of the unit without delving really heavily into the content. But at this time of the year especially, it is so important that we go ahead and give them that content and that vocabulary information that they're craving. So my encouragement to you today is to not shy away from teaching your students um, big vocabulary words and real actual content, especially with your, if you're doing like a science-y type unit like insects. So we teach our students the names of the insects' body parts. Um, and here are three-ish, three activities that I do as part of our circle time lesson to get kids thinking about all the different parts of an insect and what makes uh, an animal actually an insect. What are those characteristics that make it into an insect? So I have these jumbo, they're called jumbo insects from learning resources. They were in our sensory table for a while and I've had them over at the science center. Um, one of my students caught some bees. They're not actually bees. I think they're wasps or yellow jackets or something and they're dead in a jar. And so I put the bee over there so they could look at it. Um, and so these are really nice because they're really big and they come, there are seven in the set. So I pass them out with partners at our circle time and ask the kids to count with me and let's look really closely at the parts of an insect. So these jumbo plastic ones are perfect for this because you can't exactly, um, handle an insect well enough to be able to really look at its body parts. So we talk about the legs and we count the legs. My students at this point of the month are really good about knowing that an insect has to have six legs. Our music teacher came the other day and um, she likes to sing some thematic songs, you know, and teach some thematic things with our students. And she started to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider with my pre-K students and all of them were like, stop! Spider is a spider, not an insect. <laughs> so they were really funny. They're like, no, spiders have eight legs. She said, just humor me and we're gonna sing the song anyway. Um, but so they know, you know, that an insect has six legs. But then if you turn it over, you can also notice that an insect has three distinct body parts. It has a head. And I say, can you find your head? Can you find the bug's head? It has this middle part where all of the legs are attached. And this middle body part has a really big name and only really smart students are going to know this name and of course they're all their eyes are like I'm really smart I want to know the name um, and the name of this middle part of an insect is a thorax and can you say thorax do you have a thorax and they're kind of like no, I don't think I have a thorax. You're right, because that's a special body part that just insects have. And then this big part at the bottom where the stinger is or where, you know, where it digests its food, um, where it uh, lays eggs, this is the abdomen. Can you say abdomen? Do you have an abdomen? And most of the kids are like, no. And I'm like, you do. You know, that's your stomach. It's called your abdomen. So the bug has a head a thorax and an abdomen. And we give them those vocabulary words. Don't shy away from it. Go ahead and give them the actual terminology um, for what they're studying. And then we kind of look, what else do you notice about the insect? And like, oh, he has antenna. Do all of the insects have antenna? Like, oh yeah, look, but the fly's antenna is really short. Um, and you know, we have this jumbo ant and the ant has really long antenna. So the kids are all comparing, you know, their jumbo insects. Does yours have antenna? Yeah, mine has antenna. Mine are short, mine are long. And then we also look at the insect's eyes. And look at the fly. He's got these gigantic eyes. 
And we talk to the students about how, you know, your eyes just kind of see straight ahead. You have simple, you know, eyes. But an insect has a really special type of eye. It's called a complex eye. And it makes the bug be able to see all around it at the same time. So I have a couple of different, um, I don't know, tools that I use to show them. So this is, uh, it came, it was like an, I don't know what I got it with. It came with a set of like the paddles, red, yellow, blue, and it had a mirror. And then it has this one, which is like a bug's eye, almost like a kaleidoscope. But this is how a bug sees. You know, it sees all these different parts. If you don't have these hexagon things, you can get them at the party store. They actually sell little, they're kind of like kaleidoscopes. This is a, like a little mermaid one. It came in a goodie bag from one of my, my own kids, you know, came from a birthday party. And I was like, no, I'm taking that from my insect unit. Um, because when you look through it, it kind of shows you what it looks like for an insect. They also have them that look like this, like a little telescope. So if you're really, you know, if you're really thrifty and always watch, you know, watching when you're shopping, I think they're just a few cents each, but you know, you can look like you have bug eyes right? Because a, an insect has this really complex eye. And so we're talking about all these body parts. Then, you know, the, we've talked before in other videos, but we do three separate circle times. We do a morning meeting circle time. I do one in the middle of the day while they're washing their hands and I'm doing some kind of a, a skill or a mini lesson. And then we do another one at the end of the day with story time. In September, when my students first start, those Circle times are five minutes on a good day, and I try to get in and out as quick as I can. But here at the end of the school year, we only have less than four weeks left. Um, our students, they can sit and they're really interested. So if I come to circle time with all of these things in my hands, we can do a 10 or 15 minute circle time by this point in the year, because I know my students, I know what they're capable of, and they know that I'm gonna bring something, you know, that they can touch and do and interact with. So it's a little bit longer at this time of year. Don't be like this in September. <laughs> I won't be like this in September either. The other thing that I have printed are pictures of the insect's body parts. So we talk about how some, most insects have wings, especially adult insects. Our larvae don't have wings yet, like the caterpillars and the mealworms, but most adult insects have wings. Um, I've got some really close up pictures of a grasshopper's antenna. Um, this one has a dragonfly and you can see very distinctly it's six legs. And then the ant, you can count its head, this thorax where the legs are attached, and its abdomen. And this is a printable in my insect circle time unit, but I pulled it out just these few pages and they're free. It's in the Google Drive up. There's a link in the video description. So just click and print. I made it simple so that you can just, if you wanna do this activity with your kids, you can just print these few pages. And Let's see, what am I gonna do next? I've got two more things to show you. Hang in there, I hope this is helpful. Um, I also wrote this silly little song about the parts of an insect. So after we've been talking about it, we looked at the jumbo insects. Um, we pretended to look like an insect's eye. We looked at the, at the pictures and I'll have them stand up and do this song and movement activity to help remember the names of the, of the parts of the insect. And so it kind of goes to the tune of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So I have them stand up and say, head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings, head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings, antennas, eyes, and also six legs, head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings, and they love that. So they stand up and I'll say, which kind of an insect are you going to be? And they can pick, I'm gonna be a grasshopper, I'm gonna be a bumblebee, I'm gonna to pretend to be an ant, I'll be a butterfly, you know, they all, whatever they say they're gonna be. I'm like, all right, we all have the same body parts because we're all insects. Let's sing it again. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Antennas, eyes, and also six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. And they love that, so they're singing it, you know, all during center time too. I printed the words for that on this insect song. It's also in that printable, so just click the link. I just put it in my Google Drive for you so that you can just sing this little song and look at the pictures of the body parts. Finally, my very favorite um, supplier of all things felt for my flannel board and puppets, Judy from Art Felt Puppets, has an adorable finger puppet set with insects. So this one is a grasshopper. There's a ladybug and they're so super cute. I don't know if you can see, they have these like adorable little eyes 
and their antenna are just precious and a little fly. There's also a spider in the set, which I didn't pull out. Um, but you could use this, uh, you know, when you're retelling the very grouchy ladybug um, or, you know, the very busy spider, you could use them as a retelling prop. But I also like that she includes in the finger puppet set a cute little poem about the parts of an insect which went perfectly with my circle time unit when I was teaching about the parts of an insect. So it goes like this. An insect has three body parts, no more, no less than three. Head and thorax, abdomen, it sure makes sense to me. The head has mouth parts well designed. Let's see if I can do this. His mouth parts well designed and compound eyes as well. Antenna sense the world around. They feel and hear and smell. The thorax is where the legs are joined. Three pairs, six legs in all, to fly or jump or crawl. The abdomen is where are found the systems that it needs to breathe, to reproduce, digest the foods in which it eats. The insect has three body parts. It all makes sense to me. No more, no less than three. Head and thorax, abdomen, it all makes sense to me. So we did this little finger, you know, poem before story time at the end of our day. Anytime we can give our students the vocabulary at the beginning of the unit, I was telling them they're gonna become entomologists and their eyes are like, woo, I always wanted to be an entomologist. Here in the middle of the unit, we're learning about the head, the thorax, the abdomen, the antenna, the compound eyes. Um, you know, we're, we're teaching them the vocabulary and they are soaking it up like little sponges because they're just thirsty for this knowledge. And especially at the point in the year where they're comfortable with the routine, they're comfortable with their friends, they're comfortable with how I run things, they can just, they can take it in. And then next week when our butterflies, so right here in my science center, we've moved our caterpillars made their chrysalides and we've moved them into the butterfly net. I have one here and then I have one a little bit lower for my younger students to be able to see. So next week when the butterflies emerge from the chrysalides, then we're gonna talk about metamorphosis. And that's like the holy grail of great vocabulary words during an insect unit, right? When the kids can say, our caterpillars went through metamorphosis. Um, they're so proud of themselves. And it's one of those things that they'll always remember, right? About learning all these cool things when they were just preschoolers. So those are my ideas. Make sure you go to the link in the um, Google Drive. You can print the insect song. It also has these little pictures and then some um, a lesson plan idea all printed on there for you uh, keep an eye out at the party store for insect eyes and um, check, definitely check out judy's amazing puppet selection at artfelt.net thank you guys so much for joining me today i hope you're having a wonderful week playing and learning with your kids and how many more days do you guys have left we still go until um, June 8th. So I still have about four weeks left, but how many more days do you have? Let me know in the comments and I hope to catch you again soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.